Everybody from religious apologists to rationalist atheists themselves seem to accidentally or deliberately misrepresent rationalist atheism. So I'm going to give you my perspective and I'm going to talk about the difference between little a atheism and big A atheism and some of the, I guess, bad memes that have popped up around this. So what I mean by a little a atheist is the definition of atheism that big A atheists like to cherry pick when it's convenient for them, which is just lacking a belief in any god or gods. You just don't have such a belief for whatever reason. And a rationalist atheist, in my mind, is someone who has just rationality as their general desired approach to deciding what is true and what is not true. And they have concluded from that rational approach that they cannot justify the idea that gods exist. And so they become, by definition, atheist. Which is not, by the way, to say that lacking a belief in God makes you rational. Okay. Now, earlier in my life, I was what I will call a big A atheist. So this is as much a reflective um, self-criticism as anything else. But um, you have this attitude towards atheism where you say you're what I describe as a little a atheist, but you're not really accounting for everything that's in going on. So Richard Dawkins had a very unfortunate habit of this. Like I admire the man in many ways, and my entire interest in memetics is due to him. But he would constantly do this little joke about a person, it was presented as an ignorant Christian, saying, I can understand not believing in God, but an atheist? And he thought this was hilarious. Oh, you know, what, the, what silly people. But it's not silly at all. There is a very reasonable, charitable way of assuming that person is thinking which is that the person might not believe in God, but that doesn't mean they have to reject all of the good things about religion or the, per the things that this person perceives to be due to religion. And this is covering up all of the trappings of atheism, which is the rejection of um, what I will just, for want of a better term, call traditional values. It's um, an attitude of superiority. It's the assumption that because you're atheist, you're automatically being more rational than a Christian. The assumption that Christians are stupid, ignorant, foolish people. And this applies to other theist religions as well, but Christianity is the context where most of this has happened. And a big complaint that I have is in all of these big debates, which I used to lap up, like between, you know, Christopher Hitchens and his opponents and... Um, Richard Dawkins and, um, I guess, Sam Harris to some extent as well. These are all men that I admired and I, I loved their debates. I would look up hitch slap videos on YouTube and feel smug and superior. But on reflection, as I started to develop philosophically, I realised they're mixing in all of these debates, 
when it suits them, what is true with what they think the world should look like. And all the while, when it's strategically useful, criticizing Christians for doing the same thing. Now, Christians often do the same thing, but it's a bit of a double standard to do the thing that you criticize other people for doing. Now, when I reflect on my attitudes towards this in the past, I realized that it was defensiveness that led me to this kind of cherry picking. I had an emotional need to be superior to religion, but I did not actually have a rational need. Rationality is what led me to not believing in the first place. The thing is, there is a stigma, or there was at the time, I don't know if it's um, in these decades got um, less pronounced, there was a stigma about being atheist. And I think I internalized a bit of that, even in context where no one was actually stigmatizing me for not believing in particular. I think I might have sometimes misunderstood people objecting to my attitude with them rejecting my, you know, right to have rationality based beliefs. And there's also a huge element, which is fear of hell. One of my biggest criticisms of religion is that they use fear mongering to undermine people's rationality and get them to believe things that aren't justified. And I was a victim of this. It's just rife in Christianity. And that led me to be very resentful. But the problem with these, th these emotional processes is that you're too busy scapegoating the religious organizations for their fear mongering about hell. You don't realize that you're being irrational with your um, resentment about it, that that's leading you to be defensive. And all that's leading you to cherry pick the bad things about religion. Um, ironically, just as a sort of counterpoint, this fear of hell, but more importantly, getting over the fear of hell was training for intellectual courage. It's training for believing the truth even though the truth may be frightening or uncomfortable. And I guess I sort of have it as a badge of honor that I was able to overcome my fear of hell in the name of things that I value more deeply. But yeah, if I could give a pra practical criticism of big A atheism, which is the one which has this mix up between what's true and what should be is that it, it created a mimetic power vacuum. And a lot of people have pointed this out and it's led to atheism as a community. I don't like the way people label things as communities, but that's another video. Atheist community, is an ongoing civil war. It's a shit fight. <laughs> because it became a battlefield in the culture wars. That mimetic vacuum was filled. And now there's two ideological sides fighting a battle that benefits nobody. And I believe this could not have arisen in the context 
of little a atheism without the moralizing, without the throwing the baby out with the bathwater, without the all the extra trappings beyond just saying, look, rationality does not justify a belief in God. <laughs> if that was all you were saying, there, there's no room here for this to become a mimetic battlefield. And um, I believe a lot of the memes are incubated in the so-called atheist community. And I don't think people are benefiting from this. <laughs>